Hello, uh, heisters of the world. It is I, Almir, uh, your host, together with Mio, who will be introducing himself shortly. We are back for one of these live update streams for Payday 3. Hello, chat. We see you. YouTube chat, Twitch chat. Hope you are well. Uh, we've had a very intense week. I mean, it's literally seven days since we released the game. You all know how that went, heisters. We have had server issues that we've, ever since we had them, have done our best to mitigate and fix as soon as possible. It seems, since we upgraded the servers Wednesday morning, that uh, things have been stabilizing. There hasn't been any major outage as of now for the past 48 hours, which is great. Um, we are looking to do one more tomorrow where we will shut off the servers for a few hours. Uh, this has already been communicated in order to continue upgrading them to prepare for the weekend. Uh, SPO says, hi team, love you guys, love this game so much. Thank you, SPO. That is why we are here for our love of the game. And uh, just wanted to give a highlight from the week that's been. Monday, Andreas and I was here in this format, talking to you all, taking on questions from the community on uh, the topics that you wanted to discuss, everything from offline mode to everything else. Tuesday, Mio was here. Yesterday, Andreas was here. And now we have Mio back. So I'll let you introduce yourself, Mio, uh, and uh, share uh, a hot topic that you wanted to discuss with the community. So hello everybody, uh, I'm Mildred Kovacevic, also known as Mio. I'm senior game designer here at Starbreeze. Uh, I've been in, on the project, like Pay 3 since the early days and I have been involved in um, the combat design, the AI design, uh, the skills, uh, very uh, early stages of stealth and progression. So I've been kind of involved in a lot of systems here. Um, so I just want to like start off with a question that I've been getting off stream and I have seen people talk about which is uh, C stacks specifically uh, we mentioned in the dev diary that I was on that C stacks are not a premium currency and you cannot buy them with real world money so I just wanted to re reiterate that that we have absolutely no intention to sell C stacks uh, which is the currency you earn in the game uh, nor do we plan to sell anything like boosters uh, for real world money that will help you earn C stacks faster. So you earn cash and you earn C stacks by playing the game. Um, there's no real money component to that. So I just want to make sure that is as clear as possible uh, if there were any doubts. Thank you, Mio, for sharing that. All right. So this stream, we will, uh, Mio and I will be answering questions that we find in chat. And. Uh, yeah, because we don't have any other update really regarding the server situation. It seems to have stabilized. You should be able to go online and play the game properly now. Uh, hopefully it continues that way over the weekend as well. Uh, so let me scroll, start scrolling here and see what I can find. I yeah. see one there. From... Yeah. Go ahead. So Hayden Fletcher says, How do you plan on making stealth more engaging without unnecessarily speeding up the stealth gameplay? Uh, so, uh, so I'm not on stealth uh, right now, but I was involved in the early stages and I work closely with the designer who is on stealth. Uh, one thing I can say is if you noticed when you play on higher difficulties, we have uh, security modifiers like indestructible cameras or the lead guard or the, the guard with the cap that has infinite pagers uh, if you kill him. So what we're going to do with stealth long term uh, is develop more security modifiers that counter specific strategies uh, that players might be, you know, abusing on certain maps or getting used to to kind of like, you know, vary up the gameplay. But also if we add certain skills, uh, they might be counters to those security um, uh, modifiers or security modifiers might be counters to popular skills as well. So that is our current long-term plan, but obviously we're going to play it by ear, see how people play the game. Thank you for sharing. Uh, all right, I'm seeing Inu OO asking, will classic highs such as First Will Bank be added to the game again? Uh, we haven't confirmed any classic highs from, from Pay the Heist or Pay 2, but that is uh, possible. 
Uh, it's up to the development team in the post-launch to decide what content we do. I definitely think uh, classic sounds uh, like an interesting concept. We'll see. All right, moving on. We will continue looking for questions here. Steam achievement bug fix when? Uh, if you are unable to get your Steam achievements as of now, hopefully that is something that will be resolved in the upcoming patch that Andreas and I spoke of yesterday. It's going to come out uh, early October. Uh, we will uh, uh, Hopefully it will be addressed then, but we'll keep on monitoring the situation. Um, obviously you should be getting your achievements as intended. Uh, Shanismo says, so glad to see things on the up and up. Thank you so much. Mirel Soleil says, yo, Mio Dragon Almir. <laughs> Amir, they wrote, <laughs> but uh, they, these things happen. Thank you, Mirel Soleil. Appreciate it. Um, I, see, I see a recurring question. By yeah. Who asked it. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, so I see a lot of questions about uh, Akimbo. Mm -hmm. So that that's a pretty popular uh, archetype in Payday 2 because everybody loves wielding two of any gun really at this point in Payday 2 but um, we haven't announced anything right now um, and we're not um, actively uh, working on Akimbo like at this moment but please let us know if you want to see that because we have a lot of systems that people want they want melee they want Akimbo um, these are all sorts of things you want so please let us know which systems you want to see a return of and we will of course consider them and see how we can make them fit in Payday 3. Thank you, Mio. Yeah, I can only underline what Mio is saying. Uh, it's up to you, Heisers, to let us know what you want and keep on iterating that. And we will uh, uh, look through everything uh, combined with our own expertise and analytics and decide on what we do going forward. Dr. Spinch Supreme says, love you, Zaddy, Almir, and Mio. Cheers, dude. Appreciate you. Morning, Almir, Mio. How are we doing, says Flame Wheel? I think uh, we're doing well. I mean, given everything, uh, given the circumstance, we're doing uh, good. Uh, we just want to give you heisters a great experience. That's what we're all about. Um, uh, the real Blazuko says, Hello, I'm a deaf guy who plays Payday 3. Here's a question for you. There will be a death sentence with one down difficulty in future content or DLC. Respond if you can. Do you want to touch briefly on uh, additional difficulties? Yeah. yeah? Um, so I, I saw some recaps uh, from the last stream because when I say difficulties, I just speak plural by default. So that can mean one difficulty might be added or more difficulties might be added. That's just how I phrase myself. But uh, yes, we are looking into how we would like to add new difficulties. Of course, the more experienced Payday players uh, have exceeded our expectations for overkill and uh, are performing ve very well in it. So what we are doing is, because um, we are attrition-based combat, which means you know death by a thousand cuts, we don't want to just amp the damage and get you one-shotted because that kind of defeats the purpose of how our combat flows. So we're looking into ways to make whatever uh, new difficulty or difficulties uh, we add to be more engaging than just you know a higher number because if we add just higher numbers that'll force people to play very specific builds and we also don't want that we want people to be able to try a wide variety of strategies and higher difficulties thank you all right scrolling through to see additional questions here uh, Fresh TV says, I know some people don't like it, but I'm very happy to see there aren't a billion difficulties now. Everything's fe everything feels very intentional. All right, thank you for the feedback. Um, let's see. We can cover that question. Yeah, you want to go? People are answering, asking. Um, so, again, I see questions about um, the experience, uh, or rather the infamy points, uh, which I think what people mean, like how they level up. Uh, we talked about that last time. I don't want to go super into it again uh, but uh, yes we are aware that people have um, trouble leveling up like that the challenge system uh, is not to everybody's liking uh, the best I can say right now is we are aware of um, the complaints we are looking into our back-end analytics and stats how people are playing 
where the complaints are coming from. Um, we are also noticing that people aren't getting um, certain feedback that they should be getting when they complete a heist, like that they are advancing challenges, uh, even the ones they aren't completing. So there's a lot of issues there. We are looking into it. We are aware of it. Uh, but I can't really comment at this stage on anything specific. Bartel QX says, give us offline mode, bro. So uh, what we've said since uh, we've had the issues with the server instability, thankfully it's looking better now, but we've said that uh, every option is on the table for us as we review the best way for Payday 3 going forward, including an offline mode, but we have not confirmed what we will do as of now. Task take says, where is the hideout? And when you say how hideout task take, I assume you are referencing the safe house. So in PD2, we had a pretty poor safe house at launch that we then in the post launch upgraded into a much more uh, appreciated safe house by the PD community where every heister had their own room, etc. Uh, for PD3's launch, we did not include a safe house. Uh, instead, possibly, we will see if we will include it in the post-launch. We have not confirmed that as of now. I think the important thing with a safe house, a hideout for the PD gang, would be that it makes sense for you players, that it adds value to the experience, that it, it is you know an integral part of what makes Payday Payday. But we will look into that in the post-launch, possibly, then. I see a YouTube question. Uh, we see a YouTube um uh vario 42 after adding weapons do you plan to buff older weapons or leave the car in the state and currently is so i'm not on weapons um as i mentioned at the beginning that's not uh the part i'm working on but um you know we are looking at the stats we're looking at the player feedback right now uh feedback on weapons is pretty mixed because we've seen people say oh uh you know, for the same weapon, oh, this weapon's trash, or oh, this weapon's overpowered, and sometimes even seeing, you know, streamers change their mind over the course of a few days. Mm. So we're looking at feedback, we're looking at how people are playing, we're looking at the stats, um, and, you know, we have other designers that work on weapons that are definitely going to address balancing, mm. uh, so we're not going to just, you know, leave a weapon if we feel it's underperforming unattended, but... Um, we need to first see if there are any weapons we feel need to be buffed or, you know, nerfed or tweaked or whatever. Yeah. All right. I'm not sure if chat can still see us, hear us. Uh, it seems that the computer has frozen. Uh, we will, I will let <laughs> remain seated. Me. I'll go check and we'll see if we can get this working because right now we cannot scroll and I'm not sure if chat can hear us. So yeah, I'll be right back. Yeah, sorry chat, we're having technical issues. See us and hear us. Hey chat, sorry, the computer we are on just froze, so we can't see your questions. So we'll restart this computer. The stream should still be up and running. Yeah, it's like it's like not working at all. This computer. Will do. Uh, yeah, you. Yeah, reset. And they can still hear us, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Chat, sorry for this. Uh, uh, technical error in our stream we will get back to you shortly we currently do not see your questions maybe can you put them up on that screen yeah. uh, the twitch chat at least and we'll just get in here in the meanwhile so if you posted something chat we most likely missed it but we're gonna have a look at the chat again all right that went fast all right so now we are back chat we can see you uh sorry for uh, that continue asking your questions and we will continue answering them go ahead Mio. yeah um it scrolled by already but uh, i've seen a few people ask give us you know 
XP for kills, give us XP for um, revives and so on. So like I said, we are working on updating the infamy um, progression. Uh, but in terms of, you know, XP or infamy progression for kills and for revives, that's already, you know, in the challenges. So there are challenges that actually reward you for getting kills with specific weapons, for reviving other teammates, and so on. So it is essentially in the game. So you should do all those things and you will be progressing them. But again, we will have more information on, uh, you know, the challenges and the progression system in the future. Uh, Sonic69 says, why were so many of the quality of life features from Payday 2 removed, such as henchmen, AI, weapon inspections, and safe house, etc.? So Sonic69, nothing has been removed. Payday 3 is a completely new game built from the ground up in Unreal. Uh, the Some of the features you referenced were quality of life improvements we added for years in the post-launch of Payday 2. Uh with the amount of content Payday 2 has, it would be super difficult for us to add all of that for a launch of Payday 3. Payday 3 is a new game. We have been focused on, on what we think is needed for the core experience. And in the post-launch, we'll continue adding stuff. Some of the things that might exist in Payday 2 and some new things, hopefully, that will get you uh, excited. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I just want to add, um, in terms of like adding or removing... Like for example, on enemies, uh, all the enemy behaviors, all the all the functionality, everything about the enemies, even returning ones, not just you know the nader who is new, all of them have been rebuilt from the ground up for Unreal. There was we could carry over the you know some of the design, some of the ideas of it, but even that needed to be adapted. So there's nothing really that's like you said added or removed. It has all been built up from scratch essentially. Thank you, Mio. Um, let's see. Looking through the questions here, Lazy Buzzard says, "Awesome game, having a lot of fun." Thank you so much for saying that. Uh, Der Mugli says, "So you can play again in one to two years?" Uh, no, you can actually play again now. Servers seem much more stable as of now. We will continue to monitor in, uh, them for the foreseeable future, of course, but you should be able to jump in and play now. I'm seeing a question in Swedish here from Nighty on YouTube. Snälla, kan du svara kommer John Wick komma tillbaka? Please can you answer, will John Wick make a return? Uh, we have not confirmed John Wick for PD3 so far. He is currently unaccounted for. Uh, Uh, let's see. Uh, looking through the questions. Masuen asks something for you here, Mio, possibly. Will there be any other, other way of gaining infamy points other than challenges? You say you're looking into it. What ideas comes to mind right away? Your ideas are not final and I would love to hear them. Um, so we can't really comment on like ideas specifically because... Uh, during development, a lot of things change, uh, and I, you know, I don't want to get people's hopes up or get people upset before they see anything. So, I sadly can't share anything in more detail. Uh, however, um, how we approach it is, uh, yes, we know that there is a issue uh, that people are having with progressing in the game right now uh, and gaining levels. It's not universal. We've also seen people who have been playing around the challenges uh, and progressing. But um, uh, when people come to us, you know, with specific um, solutions and ideas, it's not always compatible with what we're doing. And just to like, you know, you know, not to sound like arrogant, it's more it happens like internally as well. So, for example, Chad, you know, I have um, I have career experience as a narrative designer, but I don't tell our narrative team what to do because I'm not a narrative designer here because um, it's not just about your expertise, but it's also about all the information in the project. So I don't have insight in the day-to-day -day work and what goes into making narrative for Payday uh, 3 or Payday 2. And in the same way, when somebody in internally comes to like the game design team with um, game design suggestions and ideas, yeah, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But when people point out issues and problems, that helps us a lot. 
because we can investigate then and uh, find a way uh, to solve that problem. Cool, thank you, Mio. I'm um, seeing a question here. In Troll 1997 asking, Hey, Almir, I love the game, bought the Silver Edition. Will I be able to upgrade to the Gold Edition? Uh, we currently haven't confirmed an uh, uh, upgrade feature where we are, like, you can upgrade from Standard to Silver or Silver to Gold, but we'll keep you posted on that. Great to hear you are enjoying the game. Yeah, another there, one? There's one. There was one in the YouTube uh, chat. I think we're already past it, but the question was, uh, any chance on experience on uh, restart? Uh, so that is a reference to uh, if you fail a heist right now uh, and you go to the like failure results screen, you still get experience for what you've done thus far. You don't get anything else, but you get experience. Um, but if you re vote restart a heist because you know you might have messed up stealth, you don't. So we we are aware of that problem, but um, we don't really have any additional info on that right now. So we will look into it, uh, but we are aware what the issue is. Thanks, Miu. I'm seeing a question here from Taran Fox with a first time chat saying thanks for the hard work so far. Having a blast. That's great to hear, by the way. Will PC VR support be on the table in the far future of Payday 3? <coughs> we haven't confirmed any VR for Payday 3 so far. Uh, just to make it clear, virtual reality for Payday 2 was added in the post launch of Payday 2. It was given away to every Payday 2 owner for free. It took a long time for us to develop that system, uh, over a year in development time with that team working on it. So it's not an easy fix, like you just make it happen for VR. That's something you have to put a lot of effort in. So we haven't confirmed it as of now, but I'm seeing questions about VR. So I just want to raise that. Uh, the Full Metal Jacket says, I missed the news about the October 5th update. Did you guys go into detail on that already? Also, will there be an option of voting out kicking players from a lobby to be considered? Uh, so let me answer your second question first. We are uh, considering that. Uh, uh, that is a quality of life option, being able to vote out or kick players. Absolutely. We haven't announced any uh, such feature as of now, though. We have talked about the October 5th update. If you uh, check the previous stream from yesterday, you will see Andreas speaking about uh, uh, that. I know also Red Archer, who I do believe is in the Twitch chat, is doing an excellent summary uh, video series. So make sure to head out onto his channel, Red Archer Live on YouTube, where he will give you uh, the quick summary in 15 minutes about what we say in these hour long sessions. All right. Uh, let's see, continuing to read here. Let me know, Mio, if you see a question for you. Um, hmm. Will you put new masks in? I would like one of a shark. Is Ray Shark red? I see that in your name. Uh, we haven't confirmed the shark mask, but we will absolutely be putting in additional cosmetics into uh, Payday 3. Absolutely. I can answer yeah, go this one. Um, so this is from Adrian Eon 31 Mio, please read. Uh, you said Payday 2 leveling system isn't the best option because it encourages speed running heists. Uh, you, you need to scroll back down. I'm missing it over and over again for XP, but that's exactly what pay three challenges require, completing a heist X number of times. Uh, this is the same, if not worse. So, um, essentially, what our intent was with the challenge system is that players, you know, just keep playing the heists. Uh, they, you know, try out different weapons, they try out different heists, different play styles, and so on, um, and so forth, and they would be slowly over time getting... Um, you know, experience and or infamy points and leveling up. Um, and this has also a lot to do with how skills and uh, power progression works in our game, where, uh, like I mentioned last time, we're more of a, um, like, horizontal progression instead of a vertical progression. I think I mentioned last time. But it's basically, um, in Payday 2, the higher level you are, the more power you have. Um, whereas in Payday 3, it's more like the higher level you are, the more options you have. That's why, you know, enemies um, have the same amount of health across all difficulties. And it's not about, like, uh, getting as much damage as possible. So, but that's, like, like our general, that was our general plan. How people are playing is they're trying to rush the levels and, um, you know, basically go in and 
uh, farm, um, you know, kills for the kill challenges and so on. And we didn't think people would resort to that, mostly because it's not what we thought was that that was not optimal. Because uh, when you complete a heist, you know, you get um, experience to level up your weapon uh, and unlock skills. You get uh, cash uh, that you use for you know, buying stuff from the vendor, upgrading or unlocking mods, exchanging it for C stacks, and you also get challenges in the meantime. So you're kind of doing three things at once, but if you just farm challenges, you're only doing one thing, and then you're bottlenecked by other things. So that was like the theory behind all of this. But obviously, you know, as is evidenced by people who have um, issues with the system, that's not how everybody's playing. A lot of people, how they are playing is, you know, they go to the um, touch the sky bathroom and set up a kill room and just farm kills and that's not enjoyable that's not obviously what we want um but that's how people are going for it because the people who value leveling up the most that's how they're going to play because they don't particularly see a value in the other aspects that we see so um this is a very long-winded way of me saying we thought people would use the system in one way but they ended up using it in a different way we did expect that some people would uh, rush challenges, but we also thought that, like, oh, they would see that that's not actually the optimal way to play, uh, because you, you know, if you complete challenges early, you won't have them later. So when later, if you do all the kill challenges and then you're like, you know, level 100 and then you start playing normally, you know, you already completed the kill challenges, so now you have less challenges to complete. So you're kind of like taking an advance on your leveling um, rather than actually like making progress. So it gets like really weird with that. But again, that's our mistake. We um, we assumed that people would play a certain way, mm. and they did not. Mm. So that is the issue we are addressing. We are trying to look into, okay, what do we need to do um, to make people play the game um, in like a more enjoyable way to them? Because I don't think it's, you know, maybe there are a few probably people who enjoy setting up a kill room, but I don't think that's the prevalent method of playing Payday 3 that anybody wants. But we also don't want people to, you know, farm, you know, whatever the shortest map in Payday 3 is over and over and over and over if we were to add something like, oh, you get infamy points from completing heights. So we need to develop this in a way where we don't have the problems from uh, that we had with the previous game that we were trying to solve, but also that we solve the current problems that we do have with Payday 3. That's why I can't say what we're doing because we're trying to figure it out. And that's why also we can't just you know, people have like, oh, well, just do this. Just just put this in. And it's very hard because that'll mess up a lot of other systems and a lot of other things we want to do long term. So it's our job to do it right. It's your job to call us out if it's not working and you have been doing so. Um, and we appreciate that. So, um, yes, long way away. We wanted it to work a certain way. It's obviously has not landed like we wanted to. Um, and we are looking into that and we apologize for it. Cheers, man. I see a question or a comment here rather from Zombiecool36 who says, I have to say I've fallen in love with Payday 3. It has amazing gameplay and gunplay and the heists are awesome as well. Keep up the good work. Thank you. And uh, let's see here. Looking through additional questions here. Um, looking... Uh, Scorch Logman says, question, is a Halloween event coming? Uh, we haven't confirmed a Halloween event so far. Uh, we will see what we do in the post-launch. We've got a long, exciting post-launch ahead of us. Obviously, right now, our focus is to ensure uh, server stability and continuous work on the uh, existing stuff that we have uh, uh, lined up for you all. <coughs> <laughs> and here is our first jacket question of the stream. Pick a sandwich, says Almir. I am once again coming to you to ask for the inclusion of the Chicken Man, please. Uh, thank you, noted. Uh, chicken Man, aka Jacket, is currently unconfirmed for PD3. Chat, you can let us know whether or not you'd like to see Jacket Man in PD3, but he is currently unaccounted for. I can answer that one over there. Yeah, go ahead. So actually asks, why is there no medic in Payday 3? Um, so obviously um, we can't really launch with the full rogue gallery of Payday 2 because like I said before, we're building things from the ground up. 
in terms of you know why we chose to not include the medic um we weren't particularly confident whether it fit or not and we're still not super sure whether the medic fits the game um mostly because the um, ammo economy in Payday 3 is much more strict during combat. You have far less ammo, and enemies take more shots, and uh, you know, one of the biggest hurdles in the beginning of the game is, oh, I'm running out of ammo, I have to resort to ammo bags, so if we add a medic, then you're not getting a rebate on your landed shots because the unit is healed. So that's not to say we're never gonna do the medic, it's more just we weren't really sure how to do it in Payday 3, but if we find a spot for that enemy, we will do so. Also, everybody asks about the medic. Nobody asks about the SWAT van turrets. Do you have a comment on the SWAT van turrets? <laughs> uh, I'll I'll let people decide if they want to see the SWAT van turret make a return. Yeah, you heard me there, gang. Uh, where's Captain Winters? Uh, asks Danny TV. I think he lost his job as part of the Washington DC crime spree uh, but who knows maybe Captain Winters or someone equivalent will make a return in the future we have not confirmed that at all just to be very clear because uh, you know how good did Captain Winters do really if you look at how many banks are still being robbed to this day in PD2 uh, are there Twitch drops coming for Payday 3? Asks Monoxide to Dope. Uh, we have confirmed that Twitch drops will be coming to Payday 3. We just have not said exactly when yet. Water asks, everyone asking for jacket, but what about my main man Sokol? So uh, Sokol has not been confirmed either. He is currently unaccounted for. Um, let's see. Are LMGs possible for Payday 3? Been loving the game and my friend who has 860 plus hours in Payday 2 has been adoring the game. Asks King Seth 64 You want to answer that? I can try. So, again, I do not work on weapons, so take what I say with a grain of salt. Uh, we know people want LMGs. Uh, I think a lot of people internally also want LMGs because we love uh, big guns. But um, we haven't confirmed anything right now. Um, and if we bring back LMGs, uh, it could potentially be as an overkill weapon. The overkill weapon allows us a lot of flexibility, but that's also not certain because, you know, I'm, again, I'm not working on weapons. We might have a way for LMGs to be primaries or maybe overkill weapons, but yes, uh, they will probably come back at some point in the future. We just can't really say right now, uh, when. Skylight86 says, could you please have someone take notes and rewrite all the questions and answers on your page? Because listening in every day and hearing you guys answer the same questions instead of always taking unique questions is getting kind of old, says Skylight86. So it's, it's kind of difficult with for us, uh, given the fact that both chats are going super fast. We are trying our best to find unique questions, new questions. But uh, bear with us, Skylight86, as we try to give you the best experience we can here. Uh, Rainex asks will new heists be added periodically if so how often should we expect to see them we haven't announced exactly how often new content will be added to PD3 I mean we are uh, literally uh, one week away from uh, launching the game we will uh, talk more about uh, uh, how often content will be added as we go forward into the post launch campaign but right now and uh, we don't have anything else to share on that topic. Uh, Futile asks, hey guys, any news about whether or not our boy Locke will be returning? Uh, Locke is currently unaccounted for, for Payday 3, but thank you for asking, for sure. Mm, let's see if I can see any more questions here. Sailor's Dad 21 says, Helmer, can we get Spawn as a collaboration character? Spawn, the comic book uh, Anti-hero, maybe you should call him. I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, we have not confirmed any collabs for Payday 3 so far in that uh, magnitude, uh, but definitely Spawn is an interesting choice. Yeah, you got a one? Yeah. Uh, Bazinga Ray, I think it's pronounced. Can we get Medic at very hard or overkill difficulty, though? So one approach we've taken with Payday 3, and I don't see us deviating from that uh, for now, 
is we don't have unique enemies per difficulty. We want you to have the full experience on each difficulty whenever there is a special enemy. So if you're playing on normal, you have to deal with the dozer, but that also means that when you move to hard and very hard, uh, you know how to deal with a dozer. Um, and plus, I think, um, you know, playing on normal, like you just started playing and not being, uh, you know, exposed to the cloaker and all the cloaker memes, I think it's it's a waste. So I think new players need some, like, initiation kick from the, the cloaker. Rhone Zone Bossy says, I've noticed a much smaller focus on narcotics in Payday 3 compared to Payday 2. Was this intentional? I mean, all of the heist designs are intentional, but I don't think it's like we've shied away from anything. The Payday gang are still criminals, career criminals at that. They do whatever they need to in order to get that Payday. So who knows? Maybe we will see heists in the future uh, starring uh, uh, ingredients and so on. Um, let's see. All right, we are looking for more questions. Uh, Cellhawk says SWAT Vanturts were a good concept, but extremely unfun to destroy. If they had some weak spot that allows you to outplay them and destroy them with with wit instead of pure damage, then yes. But otherwise, no. So that. So, um. The SWAT, the SWAT uh, van turret was mostly a joke because of its reputation from Payday 2. But yes, theoretically speaking, the same way um, we said about, you know, we didn't know how to like fit in a medic. It's kind of similar with the SWAT van turret. We weren't 100% sure how to fit it in an enjoyable way um, for Payday 3 specifically. So because uh, the rules are different, it works differently. So if we find an opportunity or way to add turrets, sure. But right now, I think we're fine without uh adding swat van turrets but again if we see that there is you know a turret shaped hole in the combat of payday 3 we will of course um, decide to add it but for now we're good thanks Mio. uh let's see here Uh, any plans of an endless heist like Cook-Off as Carlos Man 100? Uh, we haven't confirmed Cook-Off, for example. Uh, endless heist like that where you can just continuously uh, cook uh, is a, a great idea. I mean, that's why we added it for Payday 2. But we'll see what we do for Payday 3's post-launch. Uh, Grimguard asks questions. Any mod support plans? So we haven't yet communicated uh, what our stance regarding modding for Payday 3 is yet. Payday 2, obviously, we love modding. There are over 50,000 mods for Payday 2. Uh, and we've already seen modders for Payday 3. Uh, they cannot be stopped. They are doing stuff with Payday 3 already. And we are working on a policy document for uh, that, for Payday 3. Um, let's see. Hoel5 says, a money heist collab would be awesome. I love the TV show and I love Payday 3. Running around in a red jumpsuit and Dolly mask sounds so good. Yeah, that's a great idea. We will see. Uh, nothing like that has been confirmed. Uh, Sydney, I'm seeing questions in the YouTube chat. Sydney is also not confirmed for Payday 3 so far. Juno SVS asks, how many heists can we expect? I mean, Payday 3 will go on for years to come. Uh, Payday 2 uh, has received development for 10 years and received 88 heists in total. So hopefully we will see many, many more Juno. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Looking through questions glarf says big spoon we have not confirmed any comically large utensils for payday 3 so far either uh reading through questions hold on I, I yeah go ahead one. Uh, if you just scroll a little bit just a little bit there we go so monoxide too dope can we get the escapist perk fixed please the escapist perk doesn't seem to work unless you masked up it only gives you rush when you sprint for three seconds masked up which is not specified in description so uh the skill is correct the description is not clear uh it's meant to only work when you are masked on for masked uh off uh 
uh, speedy stealth options, we have the Grifter skill line. Thank you, Mio. Uh, Aoku, with the first time chat, says, No matter how I feel about the current state of the game, I appreciate the constant communication with the community. Thank you so much for saying that. Uh, Ranzu says, Hey, Almir and Mio, please answer if you can. Would you guys ever add additional graphic settings, such as bloom, texture filtering, etc.? I think that goes into the category of quality of life improvements that we could be looking to doing in Payday 3 in the post-launch. We haven't confirmed those as of now, but uh, they're great feedback for sure. Uh, Flapjack2003 says, I want to say I'm absolutely loving Payday 3 and I just want to see it become the best it can be. And the servers have been so much better over the past couple of days. So thank you. That's great to hear. Let us know if they remain uh, good for you, uh, Flapjack, if you can continue heisting. Um, will overkill weapons have better spawn locations or will we at some point have the ability to pull out and not have to wait for it to drop? Um, so this is uh, uh, not specifically on me, but my advice would be please let us know uh, which spawn locations you feel are problematic, like which heists are problematic, and uh, we'll you know look into adjusting it. Um, I, I definitely agree that I have had sometimes trouble getting to overkill weapons because they were pretty far, so please just let us know um, and we'll look into it. Thanks, Mio. Sponja on YouTube says, will there be new heisters? Yes, there will be. We just have not said who. Uh, thank you for your question. The Kingly Tyrant says, hey guys, just wondering, as a console player, I felt with Payday 2 with updates, console was left in the dust. And now with the PlayStation 5, is it easier to kind of keep up with PC players? Uh, yes. So for Payday 3, we are doing one community, which means that any update that we will go live with, any heist, any whatever it might be, we want everyone to have it at the same time. Uh, we were unable to do that with Payday 2, but with Payday 3, we are doing that. Um, let's see, looking for more questions here. Uji says OS X support. Uh, we haven't confirmed any OS X support as of now. Any new throwables? Ask JJ just seven seven seven. I think that goes into the post-launch strategy. I think we will be adding things to every category in the game. We just haven't confirmed exactly what or when. I can answer the one you just answered. Yeah. Go ahead. Um. Can we expect to see the uh, so this is from Cross uh, ILX? Uh, can we expect to see the return of the special enemies such as flashbang shields, mobile snipers, medic minigun dozers, SWAT van turrets, etc. From Payday Two, um, I can't really like at this point specify um, where we're gonna like make a have some of them make a return. Um, a lot of those that you described are variants of enemies, but. Uh, we we are of course aware of the wide range of enemies that are in Payday 2, and again, if we think it makes sense and if we think it fits the gameplay, uh, we will add it. Uh, and if we feel like we need something new to fill up a niche that we are missing, like kind of how the nadir is area of effect or area denial uh, that we didn't have, you know, we're gonna make a new enemy as well. So it's more just yeah, we need something to cover this type of gameplay. If it already exists, we move it from, you know, we, we port it, not port it, but we, we we take inspiration from Payday 2 and make it in Payday 3. Or if we don't have anything in Payday 2 to reference, then we make it from, you know, the concept from scratch. Thanks, Mio. Um, let's see here. Uh, Crawley says, hey, I'm Mio and Almir. Let me name my loadouts, please. Don't know how many times I load into a heist with the exact opposite from what I intended. Yeah, sorry to hear that, uh, Crawley. Uh, naming loadouts is definitely a quality of life feature that we will be evaluating in the post-launch. I mean, Payday 2 has it. It would be strange for us not to uh, see if we, we want it to be in Payday 3. You've made your opinion very clear. Uh, any consideration of a battle pass system, says SailorStat21. Uh, we haven't confirmed exactly how the post-launch campaign uh, will be over time, but we're going to touch more on that as we go along. Uh, let's see here. 
Hail Mary Mio, any plans for a baby driver DLC? I heard you guys want to do one in Payday 2. Why not do one in Payday 3? Says for Udomari. Uh, that would be cool, but we haven't confirmed that one as of now. Um, yeah, go ahead. I see one as well. Hey guys, so this is from uh, Quan C. I can't really see from this far. Uh, hey guys, digging the game a lot. Thank you. Wondering, will skill descriptions show more statistics? Currently, you can see increases X stat, but not by how much. Thanks. So, with how the skill system works, um, unless it's raw damage, uh, a lot of the stats like reload speed, handling, weapon swap, things like that, um, they are they work similar to weapon mods. So the benefit really depends on the weapon. So if you have a skill that says, uh, you know, increases hip fire accuracy, that hip fire accuracy is actually dependent on. Uh, which weapon it is, so some weapons will benefit more from it than others, because uh, this was the only way we could really balance it, because if it was just a, uh, you know, flat rate that was the same on all weapons, uh, it would be impossible for us to balance, so that's why numbers aren't shown, um, because they don't really mean anything, because the numbers are in the back end uh, in our system, they're not universal values. Thanks, Mio. Yasaik on Twitch says, Hello, I just entered the stream. I have a question. When can we expect the first update? So we have a patch coming out on the 5th of October uh, that we spoke about yesterday as well. Uh, we haven't confirmed the first content update yet where we will add uh, like a heist, for example, or whatnot. But we're going to share more news about that uh, soon enough. I see another one. Yeah, go ahead. I believe it's uh, Quantum Business. Uh, is there any reason why fall damage makes you mask up? Uh, I can use this to also answer some other questions, which is, you know, why can't uh, I, for example, jump if I don't have my mask on and some other things? We experimented with a lot of uh, these aspects of the game. So, you know, during development, we did have, you know, taking damage doesn't make you mask up or uh, you're able to ju jump if you're masked off. And it kind of broke the game from a balancing perspective, even if it didn't make entirely you know real world sense and because you know for for payday uh three we want to focus on hollywood realism and we want to focus on gameplay but not like real world actual realism uh in, the, in those cases with uh masked off or casing restrictions a lot of them were yeah we tried it because it also made sense to us and then when we played it actually didn't really play well so we we put the restrictions in Thank you. Um, let's see here. King Blackness says, how much sleep have you had since release? I think both me and Mio have been sleeping well, obviously, given everything that is going on. Every day is a lot of work, but I think uh, just as like a health reminder for everyone in chat, sleep is very important. You need to sleep, even though we've had all of the issues we've had and the challenging start, you still need to sleep. I think that's very important to say. Uh, You, can you answer this one? Yeah, I can answer that so Grouse is in chat and he's got a question. Will there ever be a loud difficulty modifier like inverse of Titan Camps, lead guard, lead guard, Cerberus Core? Feels weird to have Titan Camps on Road Rage. Uh, yeah, the the Titan Cam security modifier on Road Rage is um, it's not like fully intentional. We we should probably like not display it at some point because it's allowed only heist. Uh, that said. Uh, in terms of loud difficulty modifiers, the loud difficulty modifiers are the enemy numbers and, um, you know, the accuracy and the damage they do. Uh, with stealth, um, the reason we have the security modifiers is to have also sort of like a, you know, systemic way to make stealth more difficult. Because before, um, you know, we, we still you do that for Payday 3, but before the only like way was, oh, this heist is harder. 
uh, because the level designer manually made stealth harder on each eye. So this is like a way to also have some more systemic changes in stealth. So we haven't considered loud modifiers, mostly because we didn't feel they needed them. But if we ever feel like, yeah, we should, you know, we should add loud modifiers because there are certain strategies in loud that need to be countered that our enemies cannot do, uh, then we will. But as it is right now, uh, the enemies in loud already counter certain strategies. Like, uh, you know, if you if you have a lot of armor um, and rely on that and don't move too much, then, you know, the nader will counter you and so on. Thanks, Minu. Ed685 asks, hey, is it any plan to add a shooting range to test weapons and attachments like we have in the uh, safe house for Payday 2? Uh, so uh, that's a great quality of life suggestion for the post-launch of Payday 3. Nothing we have confirmed so far. I saw one that we scrolled away. But oh, I can, I can, you I know, can, remember I, it? I remember yeah, it. it. So I'm sorry because uh, we scrolled. I don't see who asked it or the exact question, but the gist of it was why don't flashbangs and uh, smoke grenades work on the bulldozer um so flashbangs don't work because he doesn't care about flashbangs because that's just how he is uh if you actually uh like li listen to what he says when you throw a flashbang he will make fun of you for doing so smoke grenades do affect him um smoke grenades do affect him he will have lower accuracy so they work and regular grenades uh, similar situation to flashbangs. If you listen to what he says about grenades and uh, the grenade launcher when you hit him, uh, you can probably get an impression about how effective it is against him. Thanks, Mio. Krujin N asks, what is the ratio to expect from free and paid DLC? We haven't uh, established that internally yet. I think we want to do both as much as we can. Uh, you know, it's important to have a, a good ratio between free and paid content. Uh, but uh, we will see. Uh, I mean, we, we just launched the game a week ago. We are yet to uh, do a, a paid or a free update as of now. So we will see. Mike twelve thirty three twenty one says loving the game a ton so far. I'm enjoying the fact that most heists can be done in stealth, and I hope that future heists also have a stealth aspect to them. Is there anywhere in the game to see when you gain new skill points to spend? Can you answer that? Uh, yeah, we touched upon this a bit in the last stream, uh, where the result screen isn't really doing uh the best job right now in telling you, you know, what you've unlocked, what you've gained from completing a heist. Uh, right now, the best way uh, to check if you have a skill point is after a heist, just if you after you've gained an infamy level, uh, open your loadout, and it'll say in the skill section before you open the skill section, it'll just say, you know, one skill point unspent. Um, not not ideal. We I think we agreed that that could probably be better, and that is a quality of life feature that we will uh, definitely keep in mind for the future. Thanks, Mio. Uh, let's see here. That one, the man says, question, we hear a lot about non-confirmed features. Could you tell us something about exciting coming features? I mean, we have already said one for this week uh, that we shared uh, pre uh, pretty early, the transporter skill line. You just want to re-mention that in case this viewer didn't hear it before? Yeah, so we will be launching the transporter skill line. And uh, it's essentially a skill line around carrying bags and bodies more efficiently. It also includes the uh, carry uh, two bags uh, skill, which a lot of people have been asking for. And also, uh, I mentioned last time, it has a skill that lets you carry two deployables, but at a penalty. Thank you, Miu. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, are C stacks being revalued because okay? So this is from Kiryu Vero. I forgot to read the. You're better at this than me. You read the questions. The uh, people asking all the time. Are C stacks being revalued because of the current rate? I'd have to wait one week to get one additional slot for mass or grind for many many hours. So, you know, the game's right now a week old um and with c stacks one of the main goals we wanted to achieve is to maintain 
uh, value with uh, um, with the cash that you earn from stealing from heists, because uh, there is you know right now in the game there is a finite amount of um, money you can spend. Uh, so that means that eventually you will get all these things, and some people are more dedicated at playing uh, than others. And between updates, you know, if you unlock everything, then you'll be like, well, what? Why should I play? Or if you continue playing after unlocking everything, you'll just have these massive stacks of cash. So C stacks right now, when you're just starting out, they might seem a bit more brutal uh, in terms of how much they cost. But I think as the game goes on and as people play more. Uh, they will have less and less problems accruing C stacks. We've got a good question for you here, Mio, from uh, YouTube, from Brian Nguyen. Uh, hey, Almir and Mio, been enjoying the game when I have the time to play it, uh, not server related. Will secondaries be expanded beyond pistols? So, again, I'm not the weapons guy, so I can't say too much on that. Uh, I will say that, uh, you know. If, I, I think it's reasonable to, to expect that at some point we will have secondary options that aren't pistols and revolvers, but I can't really comment on when that will be. Um, right now, we kind of want to, you know, start the game with like a solid base loadout and having, you know, more exotic secondaries. You know, we don't want to like do that right away. We want to like when when we add it, we want to make it feel special and you know change how people play the game. Thank you, Mio. When does post-launch happen, asks Undead Frosty. Well, it's happening right now. Now is the beginning of the post-launch campaign, and we are starting it off by doing a patch on October 5th, and then we have more to announce as we move forward. But it is coming, Undead Frosty. And uh, Let's see here. Let's see if we find any more questions. Can I get the secret overdrill masks in Payday 3 as the cooler LeBron? Uh, not as of now. How many guns per weapon pack can we expect? Asks Isne Komata. We haven't confirmed that yet. We will touch on that at a later time. Mm. Um. Yeah, go ahead. Man versus life. I feel the loud modifiers like more enemies and extra damage should be specified and shown to the player like the stealth heists. Um, so I'm, I'm actually going to say I don't know if that is the correct like decision to make um, I'm not going to say like we don't have a particular reason why we aren't showing it but we also don't want to just show you know all you know the tricks and the background information um, because we don't really tell you how many enemies there are on any difficulty um, and it's not really consistent across heists because we try to balance it on what feels best on the heist Um to, to give an example, you know, for the longest time, uh, when we were testing internally, when we, you know, did some, you know, internal balance passes and so on in combat, uh, people playing the game in the company thought there were far more enemies than there actually were, um, like spawning, because that was just like the illusion of there, of that there. So showing all the numbers might ruin the immersion for people. Um, so I don't have a good answer. It might be a good idea. It might not be. My answer is I don't know. I would have to actually think about it. Thanks, Mio. Subshine says, hey, guys, thanks for the streams. Having tons of fun with the game now. Quick question. After completing a heist in solo stealth, I realized that I got zero level progression because of the stealth challenges are locked still. Are you guys open to feedback regarding challenges and leveling systems? And the short answer to that is yes, we're absolutely open to feedback regarding uh, all aspects of Payday 3, really. That's the whole purpose with this interaction that we're having now, the community developer interaction. That's the purpose of the post-launch campaign that we have in store for you all for Payday 3 that we will continuously work on improving the experience, adding more content, making additional quality of life updates, etc. Uh, let's see. Knirdir says, a rested person is more effective than too tired. Right you are. Uh, Egel Ilmas says, can we be able to bribe cops and then take them to our side? Uh, similar to, I guess, the Joker yeah. skill for Payday 2. So we haven't announced the skill like the Joker skill for Payday 3 so far, but we're taking in your feedback and uh, 
We'll see what Mio and the team decide on ultimately. Uh, Tsopo asks, will we see any heists that involve driving various vehicles? We haven't confirmed any vehicle-based heists so far. Uh, there were no vehicle heists on launch for PD2. Those were added in the post-launch campaign. We will see uh, it, what we do with PD3. Fatty Justim says, we need more heists. Yes, indeed. Uh, we are working on more heists. Uh, we hope you will like them. And when the time is right, we will announce them. But for now, that is it. All right, we are actually up with our hour. Mio, any parting words that you'd like to share with chat before we let you go back to uh, back to uh, your usual work? Um, yep, yeah, thank you all for uh, attending the stream, asking your questions, for being patient. Uh, like I said, um, when we get feedback, we have to you know evaluate it. We we have to look at you know the back end stats. We have to talk among ourselves like what do we want to do. So. Uh, even if something seems like super simple, like, you know, just, you know, just add this, at least from my experience in the industry, usually the things you think are simple are very complicated to do. And the things you think are complicated are actually very simple to implement. So uh, thank you for being patient and, yeah, you know, keep telling us uh, what you feel are issues you'd like to see improve or features you would like to see add to the game. Thank you, Mio, uh, on behalf of uh, chat and myself uh, for taking the time to come in here and answering design-related questions. We really appreciate it. Chat, I'd like to take an opportunity to thank you as well. This is the fourth day in a row now we've been doing these streams to have an open line of communication with you all. We've tried our best to answer as many questions as we can here. Chat is obviously flying by really quickly because there are so many of you asking questions. We will be back here tomorrow with another of these streams before the weekend. Uh, Andreas will be back with me then. Uh, thank you so much for your kind words, your uh, ability to be straightforward and to the point. We appreciate all feedback, positive or negative. It does not matter. We want to hear what you actually think for real. That is the purpose of these conversations. We hope that you feel uh, that we have given you something this stream. On that note, uh, I'd like to say thank you for watching and we will be back tomorrow in 23 hours. We'll be back with another of these streams before the weekend starts. All right. So until then, take it easy. See you. Bye.